Well, we've seen the top two in the first semi-final and third and fourth place are in this race. Pedersen off the inside in red, third in the world right now. Hampel gate two in blue, Holder gate three in white, great night, 12 points. Matty Zegar, fourth in the standings, outside in yellow. You can't take your eyes off any of these races here tonight. No, we can't, and Zago, of course, has won a Grand Prix now, and that's definitely boosted his confidence, and he's now super consistent at this level. Hampel coming back after a couple of poor Grand Prix. Pedersen, you know he's the street fighter, never, ever throws the towel in. Big racing prospects, Pedersen crew keenly looking on. Tough one to call again. Great lineup. this could be a final in itself, could be fantastic stuff here at Melilla. Second semi-final, here we go! Who's going to hit that front in the early stages? Yara Campbell in blue has made a fantastic start. Zegar third as Holder comes around the outside, and Zegar now challenging hard as Pedersen is still very much in the mix. And Yara Campbell, Kelvin, has got three riders all over him here. He has. He chose gate two, and he's done brilliantly to use it. It was the worst gate on the stats, but uh, he's defied that he's out in front. Holder now nicely in second place. Once again, a solid performance from Chris Holder. Zagar and Pedersen having a real tackle for third place. Hampel out in front, he's in the final. He's looking super smooth, super fast, but to Holder, we would suggest he'll be through to the final. The big winners in all of this are going to be Hancock and Wuffington at the top of the World Championship because they're two main rivals. Zagar and Pedersen just below them are not going to reach the final here. Hampel's on his way through. Holder superb. Here Whoa. goes Pedersen up the inside. Oh! Coming through the last corner. Hampel wins the race, Holder second. Pedersen dives on the inside. Zagar in sixth. Oh, it's all kicking off there. Zagar furious with Nicky Pedersen. Yeah. Pedersen not impressed by Zagar's response. It's all kicking off. Huge drama here in Melilla in the second semi final. Nicky Pedersen disqualified, and uh, that means that Zagar gets a point. Hampel from Holder, Zagar third, and that move from Pedersen means that it's cost him a point as well, but it does mean that both Zagar and Pedersen do not make the final. Here's the incident that everybody's talking about. Well, there wasn't racing room there, and Pedersen comes charging up the inside, they clash, and the footrest gets hooked underneath the Zagar's bike and it lifts him off. Zagar's so lucky, he slides in beside the bike if he'd collected the bike, all sorts of injuries could have been on the cards. Gets up clearly very upset. And then Pedersen lashes out as well. Emotions running high. Adrenaline, big semi-final. Both boys missing out, though. Well, Zagar made his point. I'm down in the pits area now. I'm quite sure that uh, one or two words are going to be said. Uh, intention and emotions down in the pits area. A little discussion here now. Don't tell me and it's still very, very tense. Krista Gardell trying to uh, get involved there to separate them. And uh, Zegar quite clearly fuming here down in the pits area. Nicky, bit of a wind-up merchant, egging him on almost. Big smile on Nicky's well, face. Well, Zegar's incensed and quite clearly what Pedersen was saying to him just fired him up even more.